<laughs> Shoot. What have you seen from your guys the last couple of days? What do you want? What did you want to see? Well, I think I've said this uh, a number of times. I really like the way we practice. Um, our problem's been Saturday, um, taking care of the football. Um, you know, attention to detail uh, as it relates to specific assignments throughout the, the game. Um, so we've been hard on them this week, really. Quite frankly, it's probably the hardest that I've uh, I've been on the guys during the week in terms of attention to the smallest of details because uh, those are the things that are getting us beat. In terms of defensive looks and defenses throwing things at a young quarterback, was that yeah. the most that Tommy had seen against Michigan? Uh, that was uh, that was a pretty extensive package. Yeah, I thought he did a ter tremendous job given the circumstances, and that means um, the crowd, the noise, all the things that. Um, you know, entailed. But no, there was quite a bit that was thrown at him. Um, and so that, you know, you feel pretty good as a coach that right. he handled a very, very good test. Um, Michigan, um, you know, gave him a lot of different looks. And Michigan State not as likely to do something like that? Um, no, not necessarily. Um, you know, Pat gets in some, some three down and some mix. You know, down and distance, uh, Tim, will be the determining factor right. on that. We stayed out of a lot of third and longs. As mm -hmm. you know, we were, we were more third and shorts, uh, and uh, so we didn't see as much. But, uh, no, they can mix it up, maybe not quite as much as Michigan. Mm -hmm. Coach, a lot of uh, cheering coming out of the end of practice. It seemed like you guys were doing something out there that getting guys fired up. What were you guys doing? Uh, just uh, pretty spirited. You know, we went live today for the first time um, since I've been here. We had some live tackling and, and uh, it was a pretty physical day for us. So uh, there, was, uh, there was some high energy out there today. Brian, Harrison's your captain. What, do you, what kind of leadership have you seen out of him this week? What did you want to see out of him this week? I, I don't think that I look towards somebody to um, you know, bring the troops up, so to speak, after a loss. That's, that falls on me. You know, I, I really set the tone out there. Our coaches follow my lead as to uh, what I want. And we wanted a, a pretty, uh, you know, aggressive week. And we've gotten that. The players will fall in line. You know, there are other things that we ask Harrison to do, and that is get us in the right defense, be a great communicator back there, making sure that all the checks, that's good leadership for me. Um, as it relates to the, the bigger picture, that, that falls on my shoulders. The physical, aggressive stuff, is that just snap guys out of it? I mean, what, do you, what, what is that aimed towards? Uh, well, there are certain situations. Uh, if you look at the Michigan game, we wanted to prepare some third and short stuff. I don't think you can tag off in third and short. You know, you got to go in there and you got to bang. So uh, some of it was situational, uh, and some of it was um, we just need to continue to, um, you know, play more physical football. And, and so I think some of it is designed situationally, and some of it is uh, just a mental approach to how we want to play. How have you evaluated, uh, it's a small sample size, but how have you evaluated Darius's play so far, Darius Fleming? It's been good, not great. We want more. Yeah, is, is we it, have a high bar for him. That, that, that was my next question. Is it, is it, he made such strides late last year in November. Yeah. Do, you, do you expect kind of one of the guys to maybe hit the ground running this year with him? Well, I, again, I, I think he's been good. Uh, you know, he hasn't been great yet. We're waiting for him to be great. So uh, maybe that's unfair, you know, that we put such a, a high bar for him uh, because some other guys don't have such uh, a high bar set. So uh, we, we think he's capable of more, and I know he feels like he's capable of more. How about Shumbo on the other side? How's he done? He's done well. You know, he's, you know, he's got to train his eyes better in certain situations. You know, we had that third down where the ball got outside of him uh, on the on the play action pass. You know, but boy, he's 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 done some really good things for us. He's just got to continue to grow in a position where, as you know, he's had two starts at. All right, Nicholas. Right. Nicholas moves up. This yes, time. yes, yeah. He's gotten all the two reps, um, and uh, again. Two, two starts for him, you know, or two games played for him. So we know where they're both at. We, Ryan, you mentioned that you like playing on the road last week. Uh, that kind I of only like playing on the road when we win. <laughs> right. But the atmosphere, that it can have a galvanizing effect for a team when you go into a hostile environment like that. But Notre Dame has struggled of late at home. We just haven't been very good. You know, I mean, we got to play better. 
I really don't believe that it has anything to do with the a malaise or you know we're in mass too long or you know anything like that I just don't think we've played as well as we should and and I've looked at our schedule we've pared it down there's there's plenty of energy and time for our guys to to be prepared to play the best they can and you know our last game that we played before this season um, you know we played pretty good and that was the Utah game we had a lot of energy and we started that way against South Florida obviously we just didn't play clean so I don't think that's present and, I, and I'm sorry if I jumped your, your question mm -hmm. um, but my, my sense is I was a little worried about that at times last year early in the year but I really think we've got a good schedule as it relates to the home you know being at home now you mentioned the Utah game they came in 15th last year and at that time you're coming off some very disappointing losses maybe in Tulsa but the program came together do you take anything from that uh, no week? no we really don't I mean it's it's for us we're 120th in the country in turnover takeaway I mean that number is pretty stark if the numbers are, are clear got to take care of the football um, and if we do that and continue to do the things, we're going to be a good team. We're just not right now because we're, we're turning the football over. It's like a lot, a lot of big, big picture this week, but just sort of on the smaller big picture, what brass ring is out there for your team? Oh, it, you know, I don't, think, I don't think you can look at it anymore about, um, you know, what, what's at the end of the season other than playing better right now. We have to be so focused right now on – Saturdays because we haven't played well you know we can't think about you know what what's what's in the future we have to focus on um, making money right now <laughs> you know what I mean? and, and that means winning for our guys so it hasn't been hard for me to keep our guys focused because they're only two so they're focused on one at a time and you know hey if we string together seven or eight in a row then then we can start thinking about hey what's it look like at the end of the season but it's too early. Well, Harrison and Manta seemed a little annoyed at a few questions today, and probably doesn't bother you that, that they're not in the best mood this week. I think everybody's a little bit, uh, you know, uh, I don't know. I don't want to say annoyed, but, you know, nobody's happy, no, you know. And, uh, you know, I, I'm okay with that, you know. Nobody should be, you know, um, in a great mood. You know, we've, we've got work to do, and, you um, you know, I think those guys probably reflect uh, the feelings of the entire team. And a more physical practice, I mean, does that, does that go into some of that, maybe get some of it out, or maybe bring some of it out? Well, some of it was needed situationally, as I mentioned okay. earlier, and, and some of it is just the mentality that we want to keep uh, with this football team. We want to continue to be, you know, a tough-minded group, and you've got to practice like that on Wednesdays. Brian, how have... Uh, the young guys responded to this, and I'm specifically talking about two at Lynch, Nicholas, Ishak, Williams. How are they responding in this kind of environment? Well, I would say that they, you know, all want to contribute. You know, you know, they all feel like, hey, I, I, I can help. Let, let, let me coach help as much as I can. So, um, and that's a good feeling uh, for us to know that we've got young guys that want to get out there. Both of them are chomping at the bit to play. So I would, I don't know how you read that. I read that as that's what I want to hear from those young guys. And, and when they get their chance, um, you know, uh, we'll see if they can, you know, make the plays we think we can. And Lewis next, how do you feel like he's going <clears> to <throat> line up in a smash mouth game? How do you think he'll do? Uh, he'll do very well. <laughs> he'll do very well. Is that his style? When you're 335 pounds, uh, you know, and you play, you know, physical, um, you, you can kind of set any kind of style. He's not, he's not going to be our number one pass rusher, um, but he is uh, at the point of attack very good. And, and the nice part about it is Sean is, is having a good week. You know, he, he, uh, he's got much better strength in his hand where he can lock on and really do a good job. So that's going to help Lewis as well in terms of, uh, you know, keeping him fresh. Coach, with the young guys you talked about last week against Michigan not being a, a good maybe a situation to get them into the game based on what Michigan did, with Michigan State being more of a, a downhill power running team, is this going to be a week where it is a better situation and a better matchup for what they bring to the table? I think they've got a chance to play a little bit more of a significant role. We hope so. You know, uh, some of it is uh, they get their chance, and and we got to kind of see how they do. Um, but but our plan is to to get those guys in the game. Okay. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.